Hi, I'm Ron from the Odd Couple Vlog, and today we're going to be demonstrating replacing the disc brakes on a car. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is loosen the bolts on the back of the calipers. Sometimes they're a little tight. Once we get the bolts loose, we'll take them out. On this particular set, you'll notice that one bolt is longer than the other, so you'll have to know which one goes where. And I know the long one goes on top on this particular one. Now we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to actually pry this off of the, the rotor itself. And you'll have to go from the top and the bottom, and it will eventually just pry right off. And there you have it off. The next thing you're going to want to do is inspect the rotor. In this particular case, this rotor will come off, and you're, what you're looking for is grooves on either side and a lip right up here at the top. And that'll tell you whether you need to have them turned or replaced, or if they're good enough to go back on there for another round. Now, take the brake pads off on this particular one. There's a couple of C-clips on the top here. that hold the pins in place. Then we'll pull the pins out. Hopefully pull the pins out. Then there's a spring clip on the inside that hold the brake pads in. And then the brake pads come right on. Now you're ready to install the new ones and I'm just going to reinstall the old ones here. And what we're going to do is drop this, the back side one down first put the pin in either side and then we're going to take the the front the inside which has shims on it so you'll make you want to make sure that the shims go back in the same spot then we'll line those up we'll push the pins all the way through so when they go in Sometimes you'll need a little persuasion. Then what you'll want to do is put the keeper pins back in. If you can find the holes, stop. Once you get everything in place and the pins in there, you want to make sure that the keeper holes are accessible so you can put the, the pins back in. And all they do is just snap. One part goes through the hole and it just snaps in place. And what these do is keep the pins in that keep your brakes aligned. And once that's in, then you'll put every t the spring clip in. And I always do this last because it's a whole lot easier. And it just wiggles through there and it'll lock in on the inside of the brake pads. And that, keep, that helps keep it spread apart. And we'll put it back on the rotor, slide it back into place. We'll put the bolts back in it. And tighten everything up and torque it to manufacture specifications. And then that's it, and you're ready for the next side.